In this video, we'll take a look at some of the basic tools for creating a model from scratch in Risa 3D. What I'm going to do is model a very simple antenna mount that is going to be supported on a masonry wall. So I'm going to go into the members tool. Now when I'm modeling with the member here, I can choose which type of member I'm going to use. So in this case, instead of using a section set, I'm going to define just the shape out of the database. So in this case, I can just very simply choose, I want to use these shapes and I want this to be a pipe 2.0. And for the material, it can be A53 grade B. I'm going to draw an eight foot long pipe. Next, we're going to continue building our antenna mount by placing rigid links. In the drawing tools, move the drawing grid here about 0.25 feet in the global Z direction. Now select your pipe member, choose add node tool, and then with three sections. And then we're going to apply to selected. Select the members tool, general for material, and then section set, and then finally rigid. Click the new added node along the member and draw the rigid link back to the new drawing grid location. Repeat also for the lower node. Select all the elements in this configuration. Then I'm going to copy global and then add 3.5 feet for a total of four vertical bars. Now create the horizontal bars by choosing member tool. Setting our shape to be, again, pipe 2.0. Place the top member by clicking the first node and then the fourth node horizontally. Now copy this selection to the lower rung using point to point. Now I do want to add an additional members. So to do that, I'm going to create a section set. So I'll change this option here to section set and we have just a basic section set. I'm going to open this up and edit this one, and I'm gonna call this first one frame. So this is gonna be my frame, so I don't want to use a wide flange. So I'm going to open the shape database, and I'm going to choose another pipe. And then let's choose this time pipe 4.0, and click OK. We'll just keep the member type as beam. The design list obviously needs to change to be a pipe material. Let's make this again A53 grain B. And we'll keep right now the design rule the same so I can go ahead and click OK. Now let's draw these frame members to connect to those horizontal members we drew earlier. Again, using the member tool, we're going to choose our top end node and then extend down 18 feet using the drawing grid. Let's create another section set for the HSS members that will connect our mount to the masonry wall. This time we'll go to the section set spreadsheet. Enter in the name mount connections. I'm going to type in the shape HSS 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Let's add the mount connection locations on our vertical frame members. Click Add Nodes, and this time, Specific Location. And we're going to keep the tool activated. Place at Selected at the 1 foot, and then again at the 11 foot specific location. Drawing our HSS mount connections by selecting the Member tool, selecting the section set named from our dropdown. In the drawing tools, select global lock with XZ. This will lock the plane in which we are drawing the perpendicular HSS mount connections. So click the first node and extend perpendicular out one foot away from the frame. And then we can copy this HSS member. Now let's select the frame in this HSS mount connectors. Using the copy point to point, we will mirror this to the other side. I can go ahead 
and model the supporting masonry wall now. But I know I am going to use this antenna mount configuration multiple times across many different buildings, towers, and just other telecom structure locations. So I want to make this my standard antenna mount RISA model as a standard to use over and over. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and save my file as the antenna mount model, then open my new project specific RISA model to model in my support masonry wall. I'm going to get an ISO view here and you can see my drawing grid already here. I'm going to draw in my masonry walls using the wall panel feature. I'll choose our masonry type in the properties window here on the left hand side. The masonry design rules are set to typical here. This controls our masonry wall parameters. To edit these I can click the triple dots here or open the wall design rules spreadsheet in the data entry spreadsheets here on the right. We have specified a 10 inch block size, our reinforcement, and this wall to be partially grouted. I'm going to go ahead and draw in my wall. So let's say it's going to be, um, let's try a 12 by 24. So I can just go ahead and choose that top corner and put the wall in. Now I'm going to add a few nodes so that these node coordinates will define the placement of my antenna mount. Here in the Explorer, I'm going to open up my node coordinate spreadsheet and then just come to the bottom and hit enter. It's going to create for me the next node and I'm going to go ahead and put in 5, let's say 20 feet vertically and 0 feet away from the wall. If I turn my nodes on, I should then have a node here. With my masonry wall and node attachment done, I could start to model the steel members for the antenna mount that I showed previously. However, because I have that antenna mount already modeled in my personal database, I can now use the pen feature to bring it in. Here in file and then append, I will choose my antenna database model from my file explorer. See, Risa now has imported my antenna mount model into my support wall. Now selecting all the antenna members, I can select move point to point in the toolbar. I choose apply to selected, click the mount node here, and then the node coordinate we just placed on our wall. Again, you can create your own antenna mount database or you could have also reached out to your wireless site component manufacturer. There are component manufacturers that already offer several of their wireless catalog components as RISA 3 model files ready for you to append. At this point, we've completed the model of our telecom structure. We could then move on to applying loads, running the analysis, and then reviewing design results. For those topics, as well as information on other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.